Hi everyone, welcome back. I got just a mishmash of stuff for you. Uh, let's see, it's Sunday. On Wednesday, I went out to lunch with my girlfriend and then I stopped at TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack. There wasn't anything that I wanted at Nordstrom Rack. I did manage to score the Taylor Swift Enchanted Wonderstruck set, which came with the full-size bottle of perfume, which is really cute. I'm sorry, because the light's bouncing off it. With the little things here. Ten bucks. So for ten bucks, I bought it. I don't know what the original smells like. This smells nice, but it was just cute. For ten dollars, yeah, I'm going to grab it. It did come with this wonderfully ugly bag. <laughs> okay, I got another bag. And the only other thing I grabbed there was another pack um, this is a different brand again. I just grab whatever brands there. Uh, Nature Love detoxifying foot pads. Um, someone asked me what these are for. They just say they remove toxins, enhance metabolism, and are all natural. So you just put it on the bottom of your foot. It sticks. And then what I do is I just wear them while you sleep. I just put a little pair of, you know, little socks on that just go to like your ankle just to hold them in place in case you know, it gets caught on your sheets and all that. But the little, here, let me give you a better idea of what this looks like. This is the pad. So you just peel it apart. This is on, you know, on the instep of your foot, on the inside. And the morning when you go to peel it off, it will be disgusting and black and gooey and gross, but it's pulling all the toxins out of you. I, I'll probably start another round tonight since I got the massage. If you've ever gotten a massage, you know it o opens up your, like, your lymph node systems and gets things moving in you. And that's when I like to do the detox after of to help you know flush any other toxins out. Because after a massage, I'm chugging water, all of that. So that was my little score at TJ Maxx, which there wasn't much, but eh, sometimes it happens. Um, I just posted this on Instagram, but I figured I'd show you. I picked up two more of the hard candy color correct radiant primers and the green because mine is pretty low it's probably about down to here so i picked up these are only five dollars so i grabbed two backups and i have to return this i'm kind of bummed i also picked up i just opened it when i was upstairs stay in line 12 hour mechanical gel eyeliner this here as soon as I took it, it fell out of the pen and I just shoved it back in, but it was really hard. So it's either expired, old, but it, you know, a gel liner would glide right on. So I'm just going to take this back to Walmart. It was $5 and I'll just grab another one or something, but it was just strange. If it happens, but that has to be returned. Um, I did do a little Sephora order. Picked up <laughs> two more. <laughs> Double-sided Z palettes, because I always need more Z palettes. I don't know what possessed me to grab this, but I did. The Burberry Beauty Box. I really don't have any Burberry. So it came in this, you know, nice little box. I have tried, I must have got it in a sample box, the Burberry Cat Lashes Mascara. So you get like a deluxe of that. It's a Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. So that's a little deluxe sample. And this was 30 bucks. And little mini lippy in the shade Russet, I believe. And it's totally my kind of shade, so that works for me. You know, like a red, deeper shade. The only thing that confused me is this is called Light Glow. Dark Earthy Blush Number 11. Contouring powder, face and eyes. Now, you know, heavy, nice packaging, whatever. It says Burberry on the front here, if you can even see that. Right here. Okay. Here's the shade. <laughs> it's... It's not a highlight. I don't know what to do with this. I mean, it's just a... I probably won't even be able to see it on my hand. I don't know what this is supposed to do. I mean, I can barely even see the swatch and I'm sitting right in the drawer. I'm confused of, 
I mean, I guess I can use it as a crease shade, but I can only imagine, because I'm, I'm guessing this is possibly full size because it's 3.5 grams. So that's usually a good size for, you know, an expensive brand. This is not a highlighter. I, I don't know. It sure ain't a blush. I, I guess I'll just use it as a crease shade. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, it's just stupid. I can't even believe I bought that. I have those weak moments. You know, you can't help it. Ah, uh, what else? Has anybody else heard about Sephora possibly changing the points program? It was probably last week. This is funny. It was on the morning news, like our local news channel. And it's a newswoman. And she goes, if you're Sephora VIB rogue, and I almost fell off the bed laughing because I'm like, did she just say VIB rogue? Like, Rouge and Rogue are spelled the same, but if you're a Sephora shopper, you know it's VIB Rouge, not Rogue. She said that they're going to change the point system where now your points are going to expire after, like, 18 months or something. So I guess I'm going to have to go on Sephora site and maybe read that myself. And she said it twice, which was funny. She kept saying Rogue, and I'm like, I'm about to call the news station and say, Sweetie, obviously you're not a Sephora shopper, because stop saying Rogue. It's not Rogue. So I've started to use my points. I have over 3,500 points. Because I've been trying to stack them and I hopefully wait for, you know, good 500 pointers or something. So she's got me a little nervous about that. So I've started actually using them. So I did pick up another, these were the points things. This is another Tatcha. A huge box for this tiny little, called the water cream. And it's even smaller inside. You don't get a lot, but for 100 points... I, like I said, this stuff's pretty expensive. I think it runs around $60. Uh, a Vice liquid lipstick in Amulet. This looks like a pretty shade, though. Let me get it out of here. Oh, it's a nice mauve shade. Okay. I would wear that. And another... Point. I've, I've only bought Cover Effects once. I bought their foundation because I was color matched to it and it broke me out like crazy. And I knew it was the foundation because I don't break out often. And it was all along my jawline and after three days I had to return it. It was The foundation looked beautiful on but to break me out, had to go. So they had the little Cover Effects, these um, custom enhancer drops and this is in the shade Moonlight. So again, it's this you know tiny little mini bottle. But it was a 100-pointer, so I'm like, I might as well start using those points when I place, you know, orders here and there, because why not? I'll just start using them up if I'm going to lose them. Well, I'm not going to lose them. If I find out I'm losing them, I'll start, I'll get rid of them all. And then I did get this huge bag of samples, where it's just, I don't know, there's like everything in here. There's got to be 30 samples in this bag, if not more. And I think it's all skincare, if I'm right. Oh no, that's a give me brow thing. But Origins, the Brazilian bum bum. Yeah, so that was just, that was probably in like the promo code thing. Um, First Aid Beauty, they make nice stuff. Oh, there was a perfume in the bottom. But yeah, if anybody's heard about if the, uh, you know, the point system's changing, hit me up, let me know. And if I find out more, I will obviously let you know because I'm going to start losing points. I'm going to start just using them like crazy at that point. If I have to have doubles of minis or whatever. But I even like minis. Minis are great to just throw in your bag, take on vacation. Just because it's like it's mini, you can use it up like that. Good to go. Done. Okay. So that was a little mishmash haul for you. All right. I'll see you all soon. Bye.